I've often come across the question of how to create or get data when you are running a workflow in production. In this video, I am going to show you a small trick that I often use to mock the incoming data from a production execution and use that data to create my workflow. Now, I have created an example workflow with the webhook node, which is active, which means it's running in production. So I can make a request to the production URL and I don't need to execute the node manually. So over here, I have some data that I want to send out to this webhook URL. Let's send the data and we get a message workflow got started. But if we come back to any time, you will see that we don't see the incoming data in the workflow canvas. Well, this is expected because we are using the production URL and not the test URL. Saying that, you can always see the executions in the executions tab. So if I open this, I can see the whole execution, all the incoming data from a request. But the problem is I cannot create a workflow in the execution list mode. For that, what I will I do usually is I copy the value. I go back to my workflow and I insert a function node. What basically I am doing over here is using the data from the previous node to create some mock data, which I am going to use in this particular workflow. So now over here, we have the exact data that we received in our execution. So if I execute this node, we will get that data that we got in our webhook node. Now I am going to connect the function node to the no op node. Now this tab is important because if you want to refer to the incoming data in the webhook node down the line, it, it makes it easy to reference it correctly. So now we have the function, uh, the no op node in place. I'm going to execute this to show you that we have the data in here as well. And now we can reference this data in any other nodes. So let's just say we want to have a set node where we want to just set the name value so i can do add expression current node and then we have the name now we only get the name of that user now the advantage of using the no op node is going to come handy over here so let me add another set node and in this set node, let's just say we want to get the Twitter handler of that user. Let's go to add expression. Now, if I do current node, I am not going to get that value because the node previous to this only returned the name. So what I can do is I can go to nodes, no op, and then in here, I can select that value. So this is really important because if I then, uh, switch this to production i only have to connect the webhook node to the no op node i can disconnect it let it be connected disable this node save my workflow and if i come back to postman send the request we now get workflow got started and if we come back over here and check our executions We'll see that each and every node ran successfully and over here we have the data. So this is a small trick that I often use when I am, uh, when I am using a production URL or when I am creating some workflows. I hope this helps you. Let me know if there are any other questions that you might have or anything that I can help you with.